fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hail Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Hurry, big fellow. I'm Silver. Just south of the Rio Grande, Tonto stood at the hut of Pablo, the maker of sun-baked pottery. But it was not pottery in which the Indian friend of the Lone Ranger was interested. It was clothing. Me pay plenty good price for hat and vest. You not need them. But for why you wish these hat and vest? Why do we not buy these vase? See the color. You sell it for very good price to America. Me not want to sell pottery. Here, here gold money. Me take hat and vest. Ah, yeah, but wait. I sell you hat and vest. See, I sell him to you, but only if you buy four vase. Look, this one, and this one, and this, and this. Four vase. Then I let you have hat and vest. No, uh... You can sell pottery at good profit north of the border. Me, I am old man, not able to travel. You buy and then sell the trading post, eh? Trading post want pottery? Si, si, senor. You take him to Senora Kate in trading post. She will pay you well. It is called Border Rose. An hour later, at dusk, Tonto arrived in the Lone Ranger's camp in a woods not far from the trading post known as the Border Rose. He brought forth the hat and the vest that he had bought from old Pablo and told about the deal he'd made to get them. You had to buy four pieces of pottery before he'd give you the old clothes? Mm, that's right. Gee, that's a funny one. Well, him old fella, Dan. Not able to travel much. I suppose he makes everyone who passes his place buy a piece of pottery. Where is the pottery? Me already sell them. You sold them? Ah. To whom? Me take them where Pablo say. Take them to Kate and Border Rose Cafe and Trading Post. The Border Rose? What matter? Toto. That's the place the Padre told us about. Is that where you're going? Yes, Dan. I wanted the Mexican clothing for a disguise. Oh, golly. Why are you going there? What did the Padre say about the place? A girl named Ramona who works at the Border Rose left word that she wanted to speak to me. Well, how'd she know you'd visit the Padre? Many people know he's a friend of mine, Dan. Messages are frequently left there for me. Oh. Gee, Ramona's a pretty name. Did you see her when you went to sell the pottery, Toto? No. Me only see big woman named Kate. Her by pottery. When are you going to the Border Rose? Right away, Dan. 
I'll disguise my face and wear this sombrero and the fancy vest. And I think with this outfit, I can pose as a Mexican. And we go, too? Yes, we'll all go, Toto. You and Dan can wait for me in the rear of the building. Well, what will yours be, mister? I will wait Ramona. You do not mind, no? Suit yourself. That's Ramon over yonder, the dark-haired girl. Oh, yes, I see. Uh, don't let Kate catch you trying to make love to her, though. She'll throw you out. <laughs> Kate, Kate would do that? You're doggone right she would. She don't aim to let one of you hombres marry Ramona and take her away from the border rose. I see. Gracias, senor. I go and talk to Ramona now, no? Senor, what is it you wish? Let me show you something. I wonder if this bullet means anything to you. Silver? Yes. Oh, you... You have come. The padre sent me. Oh, thank goodness. I, I have been so afraid Kate would know about, about my secret. I am so sorry you will not sing for me now, senorita. Oh, why can we talk? Oh, some other time, senor. Outside in the back, maybe stable. I will join you there as soon as I can. Oh, senor, I, I came as quickly as I could. I, I am so sorry to make you wait. All right, Ramona. Why did you want to see me? You must listen carefully and miss nothing. Very well. If Kate finds I have come here to talk to you, she will be most angry with me. I, I must be so careful. Here, senor, let me take your hand. My, my hand? I am giving you a bracelet. There, you have it? Yes. It is very old and very precious. It was made by one of the greatest artists Mexico has ever had. One who is to Mexico what Cellini was to Italy. Yes, I know. For all of my life, until a few months ago, I live in Mexico. You have heard of Don Cordova? Don Cordova? Yes, of course I have. My home was near his great rancho. Many times I hear him speak of you, of the Lone Ranger with the bullets of silver. Oh, so that's how you know of me. He tells many things you have done, senor. El Guardido, he calls you. This bracelet was his. It was part of his jewel collection. It was? See. Si. He never would have sold it, neither would he have given it away. This and other priceless jewelry has been in his family for many generations. How did the bracelet get here? I do not know. Are you sure it was his? When you see it in the light, senor, you will realize that there could never be another like it. There can be no doubt that it was Don Cordova's. Where did you get it? I found it, senor. I found it here in the border rows when I sweep the floor. It is in with all the trash I sweep out the back door. How long ago did you find it? A week, perhaps. I, I am not sure. I went the same day to the padre and told him I must speak to El Guardido, the Lone Ranger. All right, Ramona. I'll call on Don Cordova and see if his jewels were stolen. Oh, gracias, senor. Gracias. Have you told anyone about this? You are the first to know of it. Very well. Don't say a word. I'll be back here soon. I will wait for you. Adios, Guardido. Otto, did you and Dan hear what Ramona said? Yeah. Uh, we hear. Come around the corner of the saddle shed. I'm going to strike a match and look at this bracelet. I don't want to call on Don Cordova unless I'm sure this is his property. Oh, he got match. Have you ever seen Don Cordova's jewelry? Yes, Dan, and this bracelet is a piece of it. Don Cordova himself showed it to me the last time I was in Mexico. Oh, golly, I wonder how it got here. Otto, please get my own hat off the saddle. Put this one in the vest in its place. Ah, uh, you take off disguise? Yes, if I start now, I can see Don Cordova around breakfast time and be back here tomorrow night. Here, here, hat. Thanks, Tonto. It's a good thing Silver's had a rest. He's got a lot of travel ahead of him. Tonto, what was the name of that pottery maker you called on? A him named Pablo. Him near border, not far from Don Cordova Ranch. I'll leave the hat and vest with him. A him not to expect him back. I'll uh, leave it anyway. We've no further use for it. Ah. Now, uh, you and Dan rent rooms in Kate's hotel. Uh, you mean we're to sleep under a roof? <laughs> Tonight, yes, Dan. Golly, it'll be the first time in weeks. Well, if the person who lost the necklace suspects that Ramona found it, he might come back. I want you to watch her and see that nothing happens. Uh, we keep close watch. You'll be back tomorrow night? I expect to be, Dan. Steady, Silver. <laughs> Goodbye, Toto. Adios, Dan. Adios. Adios. Come on, Silver. Shortly after Tonto and Dan secured rooms on the second floor of the building that served as a hotel as well as a cafe and trading post, Ramona sang a song. As she left the floor, Kate motioned to her to come to her rear office. You sent for me, Kate? Yeah, I want to talk to you. This is Blink Madden. Oh, buenas noches, senor. 
We have met before, see? Howdy, miss. Blink says he bought ten pieces of pottery here a week ago. You sold it to him. Oh, that is right. I, I remember it, Kate. I put the money in the box. He claims that when he unpacked the pottery, he didn't get the same pieces he selected. Oh, but he must have. He himself picked out the ones he wanted. The bartender wrapped it for him. Oh. He did, eh? See. Si. Sit still, Blink. I'll call him in here. Hey, Stubbs! Come in here a minute. Yes, sir. We'll see what he's got to say about it. It was in the afternoon. I remember it very well. You wanted to see me, Kate? Shut the door. Say, did you ever see Blink Madden before? Sure. Howdy, Madden. Never knowed your name before, but I remember seeing you in here once in a while. Mostly afternoons, ain't it? Uh-huh. Last week, Madden came in and bought some pottery. Ramona sold it to him. It was the day I was over to Centerville. You wrapped it up. You remember that? Oh, sure. Wrapped it up good and snug, too. Uh, wasn't none of it busted, was there, Madden? That ain't the complaint. Then uh, there is a complaint? There is. If you know what's good for you, you'll let me have the true facts. Did you switch one of the pieces? Huh? Did I switch one of them? That's what I said. Now, why should I do anything like that? I asked the question, you answered. Well, I... <clears throat> Tell you, Kate, I... I had tragedy before me. You what? Well, I had all those vases back of the bar packing them when one slid to the floor and smashed. Smashed? Yes, sir. I picked up the biggest pieces so as I could see what shape the thing was, and I went to the room where you had the trading post, and I got another of the same shape. Well, that's all. What's the difference? Where'd you put the pieces you picked up? Well, I, I didn't want you to know I'd smashed them, ma'am, so I threw them in the creek where we throw the rubbish. It didn't happen Wait to... a minute, madam. You can go, Ramon. I'm through with you. I'm with him. Now, listen to me, Stubbs. Are you sure you didn't see anything on the floor besides the broken pieces? Well, of course not, Kate. There wasn't a thing. Leastways, I didn't see anything. Did you pick up all the pieces? Well, it was dark there under the bar. I just sort of uh, kicked the smaller hunks one side. I reckon it got swept up the next morning. All right, go back to your job. Now, I'm sure sorry about it. I didn't think it amounted to much. You only pay about half a dollar each for those things, Kate. You can take it out of my pay. Forget it, Stubbs. Go on to work. Yes, sir. Thanks, Kate. Well, Stubbs didn't get it. Might have still been molded in one of the parts he threw into the creek. That's how the jewelry's hid, you know. Or it might have missed his notice. In which case, the one who swept the floor would have found it. Hmm... That'd be Ramona. I make her clean out in the morning so she won't get to thinking she's too important around here. Now you better find out. For all I know, you're holding out on me. Ah, don't talk like a fool, Madden. Well, I'll stay around here till tomorrow. You'll find out if that girl's got the jewelry. If she ain't, I'll go further. The thin walls of the second floor made it simple for Dan and Tonto to be aware of practically all that went on. They heard Kate rap on Ramona's door after the cafe had closed. And they heard the pretty singer call... Who is it? Let me in, Ramona. Is something wrong? Yeah. You sweep the floor downstairs, don't you? See. Si. You did it last Tuesday, same as usual, didn't you? See, si, but... But why do you ask me these things? A piece of jewelry was on the floor. It was a big piece, Ramona. You couldn't help seeing it. Jewelry? But what kind? <laughs> You haven't got a good poker face, Ramona. You're as easy to read as a handbill. Come here. Please. Please let go of me. I want a true answer. Yes or no? No beating around the bush. Did you find any jewelry? What I... Yes or no? Oh, he... Yes, but... But please... All right. I... I'll take it. But, but I do not have it now. It, it is gone. What? Gone? Gone where? I... I cannot tell you. I will not tell you. You won't, eh? All right. Come on. There's a gent that knows how to make you talk, and he's right across the hall. The curtain falls in the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Kate dragged Ramona across the hall to Blink Madden's room where the girl refused to tell what she'd done with the Don Cordova jewelry she found on the floor. You'll talk and talk plenty, Ramona. Just wait till Blink questions you. Madden, here she is. Well, pretty singer again, eh? Huh? What's this, Kate? She found the jewelry on the floor. <laughs> Swept it up. Oh, she did, huh? I did, but, but I will never tell what I've done with it. Oh, you may kill me, but, but you will not make me talk. No, Ramona, we wouldn't kill you. You don't need to worry about that. There's lots of things that are worse than death. If you're smart, Ramona, you'll tell where that jewelry is. I I give it to someone. Then just tell us the name and where to find him. Sure. That's all, Ramona. The name and where we can find him. Now speak fast or I'll have to use this knife on you. You're too late. Oh, what the? My arm, my arm, he throw the knife. Kate, do something. You keep still and you come with me. But, but who are you? You stay there, Ramona. Leave here with that red skin and you'll find it if it's the last thing I ever do. It's all right, you come. Boys, stop. Jake, come fast. Me take you. Come this way. Hey, stop it. Hey, where's the man? Tell him to get that red skin. Wait, I I can't run that fast. I a plenty I, fella come upstairs. We go out window. This way. We, we cannot get away. Men are coming up the stairs. They they will catch us. Out that window. Jump to ground. Damn! You there? Come on. I'm here with the horses. You jump. Friend below, break your fall. Come on out that window. Get him. Be careful. Get him. Don't shoot. You'll hit Ramona. Here comes Kate. Boy, stop it. Hey. Give me your gun, stop. Here you are. I'll show him. The rest of you open fire, too. Get him up, scout. Come on, Victor. At breakfast the following morning, Don Cordova repeatedly said, It is good to see you again. It is so good, my friend. It has been many months since you were south of the border. Yes, Don Cordova. And I wouldn't be here this time if it wasn't for this bracelet. Yes. Have you ever seen one like it? Amigo mio, there is none like it. There can never be one like it. He who made it has been dead for 100 years. Where did you get it? This belonged to you, didn't it? Si, senor. It was stolen with many other things. All jewelry and all without price. Tell me, did you get it on this side of the border? No. This was found in Texas. Oh, no, no. Don't tell me that. Why? As long as the stolen jewelry was in Mexico, there might be hope of recovery. If it has been smuggled across the border, all hope is gone. Perhaps not. Senor... You don't understand how far-reaching this is. I am not the only one to suffer. Others of long ancestry had old jewelry have also been robbed. Oh? The police have known of it. They've been watching many suspects, waiting for the attempt to sell the jewelry. Now, if it is in the United States, there will be no efforts made to sell it in Mexico. I'm afraid it has been smuggled over the border, Don Cordova. I'm sure of it now. The border patrols were told of the jewelry? Oh, yes, yes. They have been most vigilant. But wait. All hope is not yet gone. You come here to learn if I have suffered loss. Yes. You, the Lone Ranger, El Guardido, are working to find these thieves. All hope is not gone. I'm going to start back in a few minutes, Don Cordova. I might have news for you in a few days. Senor, you have no idea how, how grateful many of us will be if you can find these clever thieves. It is not the money that jewels represent. It is the fact that they are works of art that Mexico is proud of. That, Senor Cordova, is why I want Mexico to get them back. <laughs> You'll have my horse brought out. I'll start the return journey. Oh, you will not rest a bit? No, I want to get back as soon as possible. I must stop at Pablo's pottery hut and return some clothing. Oh, Pablo. Poor old man. He's not to live long. He isn't? No. Oh. The last few times he came to sell his pottery, he, he was so old he could barely walk. His eyes are so bad he can hardly see. What's that? His eyes bad? Oh, si, senor. Very bad. I've got to start back at once. Bueno, I will have your horse made ready. Thank you.
The Lone Ranger left Don Cordova's rancho at a ground-covering lope that would make the best time without exhausting the big white stallion. He saw the distant Rio Grande from a small hill. Then, as he drew nearer, he saw Dan Reed approaching. Well, there, Silver Hobo. Easy now. Whoa. Something's gone wrong, Silver. Otto sent Dan to tell us. Oh, oh, Big Hobo. Oh. What is it, Dan? Oh, golly, I'm glad I met you. I was afraid I'd get off the trail. There was trouble at the border road. Yes? Last night? Yeah. Kate found out about Ramona in a bracelet. There was a man with Kate, Blink Madden. He squawked because he'd bought some of that pottery vases. One of them got smashed. The bracelet was hidden in the vase? Yeah. But Ramona didn't know it at the time. The bartender dropped the vase. The bracelet fell out and the girl swept it up. Molded into the vase? I guess so. Kate and Madden were going to make Ramona tell what she did with the bracelet when Tano broke up the party. Where's the girl now? In camp with Tano. She was wounded slightly. Dan, that checks with what I've just learned. It does? Capturing the thief won't recover the jewels. We've got to try and find the jewels that are already in Texas. Yes, sir. What can I do? Follow this same trail until you come to the big rancho, the first one you'll see. It's half an hour's ride. Tell Don Cordova I sent you. Here, take this bullet to prove it. Yes, sir. Tell him to send the police to Pablo, the pottery maker. They'll learn the rest when they get there. Right. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. The Lone Ranger, riding harder than before, soon came into view of the little hut where Pablo lived. Then he slowed to a casual walk and advanced as if time meant nothing. He halted the white horse and dismounted as Pablo came from the hut. Senor, you will buy some pottery, eh? You take it for a very low price. What would I do with pottery? Oh, you sell it, make good profit. I tell you where you can sell it. You go to Border Rose. It is right near where you ford the Rio Grande. Well, I didn't plan to buy anything. I might take a few pieces if the price is right. See, si, see, si, senor. Look, I, I show you. Mm-hmm. Here, this is very fine vase. Here is water jug. I make it myself. I'd like to take quite a load of these things. You say I can sell them at the Border Rose? See, si, senor, I promise you. Look, I, I, I fix the basket on your horse. You take as many as you wish. Then you make good profit. You could take them over there yourself, couldn't you? No, senor. I am too old. I cannot travel anymore. Well, that's strange. Uh, this is your vest, isn't it? That? It was bought from you, Pablo. And in the pocket I found playing cards. Mark cards. Which couldn't be used by a man with eyesight as bad as yours is supposed to be. Uh, or isn't your name, Pablo? What is this? You sound different now. I fix you. No, you, you don't. Oh, my arm. I just winged you. The rope will hold you until the police come. No, no, wait. Sorry, I can't wait. There. Let go with this rope. I'll add a few loops to make sure of you. One. Two. Three. That'll do it. I got you. My friends will get you for this. The police will be here before your friends. I'd be surprised to find a much younger man than old Pablo. What did you do, kill the original pottery maker? Let me loose. I I tell you, I I make deals. The police can make you talk. Meanwhile, maybe we can leave some evidence for them. I wonder which of the pottery has jewelry molded into the clay. Oh, that piece looks likely. You. One piece of evidence will lead to inspection of the rest of the pottery. Here, Pablo, your hat and your vest. You... Adios, steady, big fella. One silver. The masked man made much better time than he had expected. It was but a short time after noon when he reached the camp where Tonto and Ramona waited. While he outlined what he'd learned, he hurriedly threw off his familiar clothes and donned a disguise he always carried. Old clothes, such as a derelict prospector might wear. I brought a few pieces of the pottery in my saddlebags. I'll take these to Kate. But, senor, how how could they know that all the pottery would be taken to Kate? I think they had someone watching at the border. If anyone came over with a special pottery with jewelry molded into it, they were spotted. If that man did not go to the border rows, he was approached by Kate or Madden or perhaps some other member of the gang. Now to call on Kate. Is that a big fellow? Come on, Silver! better take it all this time, Madden. I'm leery about keeping any of the stuff here since Ramona got away. Put the rest of the vases in the wagon. I'll take it. Just the ones with the special markings, you mean, huh? Sure. I don't want none of the rest. 
Here comes an old timer. He's got a couple of pieces of stuff. Well, check it, Kate. See if it's special or ornery. Hi there, mister. I see you come with some pottery. Did you come to sell? Yes. Well, let's see it. Just making a big sale to this gent. Maybe he'll take what you got, too. Good. Hey, these are first rate, Madden. Want to take them along? Yeah, put them in the rig. I'll take them. Well, we won't need to pack none of it this time, being as you got a wagon. Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll pay the stranger myself. Hey, our partner. A little extra for you this time. Thanks. Now I'll shove on, Kate. Might not be back for some time. Well, when you come, I'll be here. Get up there. An hour later, Madden halted the wagon at a small shack in the hills. Three men came to help unload the pottery. Boys, you got to work fast. Something happened at the border rose. Maybe it won't be safe to go back there. What happened? Never mind that. Bust up this stuff and get the jewels. We won't wait to get any more. We'll take what we got and head east. We got a tidy haul. Well, what about Juan? Do we leave him in Mexico? We'll get word to him. Tell him where to join us. I figure we're lucky to have got out of Mexico. It all goes to show what organization will do. Juan was never suspected when he took the place of that old pottery maker. He could get into almost any house he wanted to. Now bust up the rest of that stuff. Maybe there ain't jewels in all of it. We couldn't be sure, so I just brought all Kate had. That's enough, couldn't... Madden. Hey, 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 who's that? What? It's all over, Madden. The marshal. Thanks for leading the way to your hideout. Wait. All we did was invest in pottery. We found some of it had jewels in it. Save we got... it. We already got Kate, and she's ready to talk. The police in Mexico have the pottery maker, and he's ready to talk. We've got all the case we need against you. Hey, that old timer, he sold me some old of the Old timer? Yes. He's a smuggler. He's the old one. Old that... timer, my eye, Madden. He's the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated.